Hey everybody, it's me, and right now I'm going to be showing you my Briar Horses 2014. This is an overview of my horses. My collection started about a month ago, since Christmas has kind of blossomed. And I hope it'll get even bigger. <laughs> of course I do. But, anyways, so I'm going to start describing all of my horses to you in detail. And telling you what I like about them some of their favorite traits, the breeds, all that kind of stuff. First up is Wapiti, a Bay Frame Overo Pinto Sport Horse. I think that they really gave him a lovely, realistic Overo coat. I love his eyes, his pink nose. He is overall very gorgeous. I just love him to bits. He is a 2013 limited edition and is probably in my, well I have seven models, so in my top seven favorite models. One of the details that I like is the spots on his mane here. And yeah, so I think he's a really great model. Anyone who has a chance to buy him, he is a great deal. And he's limited edition, so he won't be out there long. In fact, he's going to start disappearing now since 2014. Anyways, so, first horse. Now, here is Northern Dancer, a Bay Thoroughbred racehorse with three socks and a blaze. I love his expression. And I also love the fact that they wrote Northern Dancer on his belly. Some really cool facts about him that actually come directly off the Briar Box is that he won the Kentucky Derby and the Preakness, and his genetic is in 75% of today's modern day racehorses, including a lot of very successful ones that I will not name because it'll take a long time. Anyways, so I love his muscle toning, I love his determined face. I love pretty much everything about this model. I don't really have any complaints. So, yeah, anyways, to the next. This next mare is Halla, a bay mare with a star. She is modeled after a show jumper in the 50s who won three Olympic gold medals. She could be up to 35 years old and was bought in an antique store. Having been previously opened and was not like in the box, she's in fantastic conditions with only a few itsy bitsy little problems here and there. She is gorgeous. I love her. She is definitely one of my favorite models, for sure. Her mane is beautiful, too. And I hope the other horses are preserved like this, because this is incredible that after 35 years of being opened, a horse can still look like this. Anyways, to the next horse. This is the older mold for Secretariat. Focus camera. Anyways, the camera's having some issues, but anyways. He is in kind of rough condition. He's got the chipped ear, quite a few scratches here and there. But he, again, could be around 35 years old at a maximum. I really love this model. I love the eyes. The face in general. Oh, there, now it's focusing. It is a great model. It took me a while to actually track it down to figure out which one it was. Since at the antique store, they don't have them labeled or anything, so you kind of have to figure it out on your own. So, I love this model. Just the fact that I'm a huge Secretariat fan. And my um, friend of mine has a new Secretariat mold, and it's great. But this one has a ton of character. I love it. This is an original Manowar mold. Uh, obviously, he's not in pristine condition by any means. He's from that same antique store and could be, again, 35 years old. It was really hard tracking him down on identifyrare.com, but, you know, it's worth it. Now I know that he's Manowar, who is like a major racing legend. The position that he's in is awesome. Like, none of them are in this kind of position. None of mine, at least. The muscles are great. The tail is great. A few chips there, here and there, but I can look past that. This is Icicle, my first Briar horse, a glossy, limited edition 2013 bouncer model. He is gorgeous. Again, I love how they write limited edition on his belly. One, a few of my favorite features on him is you probably can't see them very well, but he's got great dapples, and he also, his eyes are awesome, and his nose. I have soft spot with pink noses. He is a great model, and I love him to bits.